Welcome to another Econolastic video. In today's video, um, we want you to understand the relationship between supply and price. Not going to be the longest video. It's a fairly straightforward relationship, to be honest. Um, so in contrast to the relationship between demand and price, um, if the price of a good rises, the quantity supplied of that good will also rise. And there are generally three reasons for this, of which Joe's going to go into the first one for you. Yeah. So as firms get beyond a certain level of output, costs are likely to rise. This leads to more labour being required and uh, machines uh, reaching capacity of output. And therefore, firms may need to invest more in more machinery. Therefore, increasing output often leads to higher per unit costs. So producers need a higher price to persuade to be persuaded to produce an extra uh, unit of output. So what we're saying there is if, if something's being demanded more, firms generally will need to either hire more labour or pay yeah. overtime to their workers and their machinery might be reaching the capacity. So if they're to be persuaded to, to hire those extra workers to upgrade their machinery or to buy new machinery, then the price has to rise enough for them to be persuaded to do so. Yeah. So we'll give you an example alongside that. Let's consider a company that owns land and some part of the land they use to grow and fell trees and on other parts of the land they use it to mine copper. Um, and take a scenario where the price of timber now rises. It might not be a significant rise in the short run. Therefore, based off the back of the point Joe just made, the company may not make any change in its processes. It might not hire more labor or pay overtime or get more machinery because the, the price rise isn't significant enough. However, if that price rise continues to increase, and it rationally then gets to a point where it makes sense for the company to, to devote more of its labour, of its machinery to the felling of trees, therefore selling the timber at the higher price. Yeah. So the higher the price of a good, the more profitable it becomes to produce. Fairly obvious. If a company can make more money making one product than it can make the other, then they will produce a higher profit uh, good. The yeah. first two factors actually affect the supply in the short run. The next factor affects the supply in the long run. If the price of the good remains high, over time, new manufacturers will be enticed into the industry. Um, and the total market supply therefore rises. For example, if the price of wood remained high for a period of months or years, new manufacturers will likely enter the market. Yeah. And the reason that that doesn't occur in the short term is because obviously you're not going to be enticed into the market if the, if the price only increases for a month and comes back down. It's got to be a sustained period of time, which will then entice new, new uh, manufacturers into the market. So, again, it's a fairly quick, short video. It's a, it's a fairly um, logical process. If the price um, of a good increases, then supply of that good will increase for the three reasons that we've mentioned in this video. So we hope you've learned something from this video. Um, if you do need anything clarifying, please leave questions in the comments section and we hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.